Taurus! What is going on, my dears? They won't ignore us. They sure can't, baby. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Viva. It is Scorpio Reds Tarot. I am back at it. I'm in the building one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for March 2021. Baby, we in here to have some fun. The party has just begun, my dears. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. If there is anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading or if these videos resonate and you want to send some love to the page, go ahead and check out the description box of this video or click the about tab on my YouTube page. It gives you the pricing list for um, personal readings and it also gives you various forms of how to support and how to contact me. The best way to contact me is to send me a message on Instagram Messenger. Now if you do not have Instagram Messenger, just shoot me an email at scorpionbreads at gmail.com. Alright? Yes, yes, yes. So you guys you already know, we always give acknowledgement, praise and thanks to the Creator, Father God, the universe, whatever it is that you want to call Him, however He resonates with you. So if you wouldn't mind, bow your heads with me and just let's say a quick prayer. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Taurus. Father God, they won't ignore us. You already know what's in our heart, minds, and soul. Father God, you already know the mission that we have set and planned and created for ourselves. Father God, we just, you know... We are striving for luxury and greatness, Father God. We want the best of everything that the world has to offer, Father God. And we don't mind working hard for it, Father God. So, Father God, just, um, you know, make way for us, Father God. And just continue to just, like, work with us so we can understand your plan. And we can be in the correct placement so that we can just have all of the opportunities that, you know, you have written for us, Father God. We stand and we're getting out of our way. You know, we're getting out of our own way, Father God, and we just want to listen to your messages and, and, and be right there by your side in every step of the way. So, Father God, give us the guidance that we need to receive for the side of Taurus for March 2021, Father God. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, you guys, so <clears throat> we are using the tea leaf cards today. I know y'all love these cards, so let's get three on this side and three on this side and see what we got. Alright, so that's a... Ooh, you got the star. You got guaranteed success. I like that now. Alright, popping off like that. Give me two more. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. What is this? We'll just take this one and this one off of the top. So you got the... You got the casket. It says, someone's going out of your life or the end of the situation. Guarantee success with the star and you got the casket and then you also have the angel spiritual guidance and protection from harm Hmm So it looks like you shining right here with the star card You're destined for success and like I told you you getting out of your own way And it looks like something or someone or opportunity whatever it is is being released from your situation because you know what what they say? Their rejection is God's protection. All right. So whatever this is, that is like being closed, the casket closed, being nailed down. Look, it's being nailed shut and buried for good, forever, 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 ever. And I feel like that was God's protection. God protected you from something, ended something for a certain reason so that you could shine. I don't think that you would have been able to shine with that around you. That's why God ended it and removed it. It's time for something new to come into your life. And it looks like God is definitely having their angels reach out to you and watch over you. You're being spiritually guided and protected from anything that you don't need. Anything that you don't need. Amen. Okay. Okay, what's this? We got the flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards, Taurus. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. And then you got the crib. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So like I said, something had to end for something to begin. Hmm. 
do not be tempted to lower your flag. You got something new coming into your life. New birth. Possibly a child. Alright. One more. What is this? Funnel. Period of frustration. But lessons to be learned. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting, Taurus. So it looks like right now, you guys are like standing your ground. I feel like you're buckling up your boots and you're standing your ground. You know that you're the star. You know that you're reaching far. God is removing things from your life. You feel protected. I don't feel for one second, one second at all, that you're scared. I feel like you're for tough. Made a Teflon. You're prepared for whatever it is that is growing in your life. It could possibly be a new child. And you could be walking away from a situation that you just felt is a detriment and is harmful. And it doesn't mean you no good at this personal time in your life. You need your space. You need time for these things to manifest and to be nurtured and to grow. It may be a frustrating time right now. Especially when... You're going from one stage into another. But this period of frustration, you're going to have so much growth out of dealing with this separation and just understanding that you're, it's, it's, you're moving differently because you know that you're protected and also you know that you're guaranteed success out of this situation. So if you, you don't have no problem with release and setting and standing on your standard. Amen. Amen. Okay. Let's get into this. <clears throat> I just loved it. I'm sorry. This flag right here. It's the flag for me. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. It's the flag for me. It is the flag for me. It is and that spirit and the angel spiritual guidance protection from harm. <laughs> Come on, Taurus. I like the way you're coming through like this. Give me guidance for my Taurus for March. Thank you so much. Time out. <laughs> Time out. Look, all of that right here, all of this purple. Mm-hmm. That's that. That's that third eye chakra right there. That is, that is definitely like that third eye chakra energy right there. That is like you intuitively know it's time for a timeout. It's time for a timeout. That solar plexi right there. You know what you need to do. That energy right there. That's that core energy within your body that circulates going up and down. All, to all frequencies. So you got to know what you want to do. And have some like understanding about this. It's time for something to it's time for something to go. Time out. I understand why this had to happen and why I have to do this. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. You know it's time for something to be dead it to end. I got something else growing in my life. That's more important. I, I it's just more important. I don't know, you could be 37. You know, that number 37 right there, that's a grown ass motherfucker. So you know what the hell's going on. Listen, you got to follow your dreams. Come on with that star. And what's this other one here? Creativity. I like this. I really, really like this. Someone is destined for some type of like fame, notoriety, like, uh, I don't know if you're like a, um, social media personality or like some type of spokesperson or like, um, therapist or, you know, do something like that. It's something where you would be seen in the public eye, like doing some type of, um, uh, like life coaching or uh I don't know why I'm even getting like um 
like a sports analyst or, or a news anchor or something. I don't know. That's kind of like something that I'm getting. It has something to do with being like on TV giving information or giving critiques about something. Someone or it's like fashion. Um, it's something like that. Something like that. I definitely see like. Cause I'm looking at this angel, her hair, her clothes, <clears throat> even down to the flowers and everything, like stage design and all that stuff. Oh, my throat is tickling. Hold on, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, it's like um costume artistry, stage design type of stuff like that. Like, y'all could be the people behind that do the makeup or that does the, um, all of the setup and stuff behind the people that are on TV type of thing like that. You got the Prince of Cups in the reverse. So, like, what this is telling me, especially with all of this, time out, follow your dreams in creativity with the star, <clears throat> something is ending in your life so that you can have a whole new meaning and purpose because like a child childbearing or just like something like that it's like being responsible for something like this is my baby this is my creation it doesn't even matter if it's a physical child this is my baby this is my creation this is me this represents me your children represent you they're a representation of you and your raising and your teaching and everything like that right so what this is telling me this Prince of Cups in the reverse, this is telling me it's something that um, you're yearning for, that you're longing for. It could be love. Like, it could be a true love connection. You could even be, let's literally say, all right, you was in a relationship. That shit did work out. It was very, very toxic. Put the, the you put the whole shit in the dirt, nailed the coffin, buried it. But coming out of that situation, you're physically pregnant with a child from this relationship that just ended because it was toxic. But at the same time, when you said it was over, it's over. You are brazing your flag. You will not be tempted to lower your flag and, you know, lower your standards and stuff like that. But you realize this is a, 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 a situation of... um. Something that you didn't ask for. Because no one asked to be a single parent. You know what I'm saying? But you know trying to work with this person is toxic. And when I walked away I said I was not turning back to that. And I'm kind of getting like. I don't even think that the person would even tell the person that they're expecting. Because it would cause more chaos. And it would just open up the door. The person is like if I'm going to go I'm just going to go. Uh, like Seriously. It's like there's no love there. It's nothing healthy there. You know? You're trying to follow your dreams. You want true love. There's something that you're longing for. It's something that you have hopes for. something that you have dreams for. But possibly right now you may feel in your heart that you can't obtain that because I'm with child. You know? And after everything that I've gone through, I really, really deserve love. But I got to focus my energy on this new creation that I have. Um, and it's like you got to handle and do that first. Before you can focus your energy on that. You know. So it's like I'm kind of getting like on an emotional standpoint. From somebody that it's like they're longing for love. But right now it's not the time, place or the situation for it. Now in regards to someone that is trying to do something creative. And they may have walked away from <clears throat> Like say a job or an industry or something that they just said, you know, listen, I want to, I'm a star. I need to follow my dreams and stuff like that. This is basically saying that um, somehow that you may be feeling restless or you may have lost your um, spark, your creativity. Like you might have had writer's block or something or you just might have lost your like love and passion for something like um, feeling as if it's never going to, you know, come come true. And what this is basically telling me is that you need to remember who you are. You're a star. 
these things ended in your life honestly to allow you to have a timeout session so you could focus on your dreams and really work on that and manifest that you need to fall back in love again with yourself you know and who you are creatively because if you don't know you a star can't nobody else see it won't nobody understand it you know what i'm saying you have to pour that love and that attention back into yourself in order for the for these dreams to fall to come true you need to follow your dreams and get back into your creativity you need to get that spark you need to get that you know what i'm saying i don't know if you have had writer's block or something i feel like someone is having some type of creative block or something or they've had a creative block but something stopped stopped in order for this intensity to open back up and thrive for you again listen you got the ten of torches so like i love this card sometimes when it comes out because it's telling me like you've come so far you do not like your footsteps away from achieving your goal if you've been carrying this this far keep going i'm serious don't give up keep going it's like it's, it's like i know it's hard that's why I, like this this period of frustration right here because it's like i feel like you're having to do it by yourself because something right here had to go and that was because god was protecting you you needed to be released from that because you could carry this shit on your own you don't need nobody around you to be your fucking burden you feel me if you could you you could do bad by yourself you don't need nobody around you to be no burden or you don't need no situations around you that it's just negative energy on period i feel like things are lighter for you right now now that you're able to focus and maintain and handle and do things by yourself and you're almost there people are going to follow in your footsteps soon keep going do you understand what I'm saying? I really do feel like you just need to walk and just realize, okay, with everything that I've been doing, all this that I'm carrying, once I get over there, I could do this, I could do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't focus so much on how long the journey has been. Focus and only put your intentions and your thoughts on the dreams of when you get there because you're almost there. I need you to start dreaming again. It's like this is someone that fell out of love with the dream. I need you to fall back in love with the fucking dream. Do you understand? Like your footsteps away from that shit. Keep going. That's the only thing I can tell you. Do not be tempted to lower your fucking standards. And that's on fucking period. That's on period. Let's hop into love real quick. Let's go on into love. All right. Got in some love for a uh, Thank you. That was like an immediate response. <laughs> so we have over here. Oh, we got the offer. I like that. Me like it a lot. We have separation. Right, and then we have pride and ego. Hmm. So it looks like here that um <laughs> okay, it seems like it took for you to walk away and follow your dreams. It took for you to walk away and follow your dreams and do what really what you were destined to do. For you to start receiving these offers and things like that. Um, right now, I feel like, um, especially if it's coming back from a, 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 a source that in your mind no longer exists to you. Because that always happens. It takes for people to leave, physically walk away and be non-existent to them in their life. For them to realize, I really love this person. I should have did better woulda shoulda coulda do not be tempted to lower your standards you walked away you walked away for a reason keep the fuck walking period you already know when you walk away a motherfucker's gonna come back and try to offer something after 
you know, you separated from them because, you know, they got a pride and ego thing. Fuck them. Do you understand? And that's the hell on, period. Because guess what? As you went through those steps in doing that, the first thing that popped up was offers. They coming from here. They coming from there. They coming from everywhere. That's why I need you to pay attention and fall back in love with the dream. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you're only footsteps away. I need you to remember what you're doing. Do you understand? I need you to fall back in love with yourself. And that's on period. I need you to wake up. That's on period. Follow your dreams. Do not focus on the separation. This is perfect. Because you pull out your best work when you alone. Because you can really focus on what you really want. Okay? This pride and ego card is like very beautiful. That is representing this. That This is someone that knows... See, everybody talk all of this shit about this girl named Lori Harvey. I don't know if y'all know who Lori, Lori Harvey is. But how y'all hate on the bitch that knows she's a badass bitch and she can have any motherfucking thing she want. I can have the father, the goddamn son, the nephew, the rich ass uncle. Do you understand? <laughs> what? I can have any fucking thing I want. I'm beautiful. I'm accomplished. I'm smart. I'm able and God damn it, I'm deserving. That's that pride and ego. Not lowering your standards. Okay? When you know who you are, okay? You know what position you deserve to be in. And you would not lower yourself for nothing or nobody. Because you're too beautiful and you don't the fuck have to. Period. <laughs> Period. So how many offers you been getting after the separation, honey? It seems like this door has been opened. Boom. Okay? But you wouldn't be able to take a sip. Even, you know how you get a glass of wine? You take a little whiff before you little, you know, go in a little bit. You wouldn't even be able to take a whiff if you wasn't separated. Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. Remember who you are. Period. Let's get a few more cards. Ooh. I feel like I should go to the other deck. I feel like I should. Let me just get one more card. Okay. Nah, I got too much. So we got the lessons, solitude, family, mirroring, nostalgia, karmic partner. Okay, y'all, we needed to get this. Okay, so what it's saying is, it's like, um, the reason why you really needed the time out and to go a safe distance from the situation because with this, it's like you're walking away. You're removing yourself. You are in a safe distance away from this so you could work along and think and develop yourself as, as you're traveling, right? Because it's I feel like this was a very hard journey and a hard lesson for you to understand. And that's why you really need to be by yourself. It's like God wants you to really sit down and think to yourself and have a thorough understanding about why the separation needed to happen do you understand what i'm saying why it's best for you to be alone right now because i i, I do want to say that there's somebody that's possibly not paying too much attention to the current offers because this separation it may be very very fresh you understand it may be very very fresh or it may be it's still open wound you know and it's like their pride and their ego may not. It's like it's. It's like the pride and ego would not allow you to not acknowledge the hurt. Because it still hurts 
Do you understand? And it's like, why are you alone and everything like that? You're safe distance because please process this. Because I want these lessons to be understood, you know? Because I really want it to be understood. Because at this point, it seems like you should be over the lessons. You should have that understanding. And I really hope that this is meaning for you a completion of the lessons. And that you are, you're understanding the solitude. Because at the end of the day, I don't care if... I don't care if, because that, that's why, with this family card right here in the reverse and everything, and with this mirror, this mirror card, I feel like this relationship mirrors um, your childhood. I don't know if your mother and father were not together or if it was a toxic ass family or something, but do you see how it's saying the family is in the reverse, the mirroring, and then nostalgia of a toxic partnership like so this relationships mirrors like i don't want to say your standard at home but like how you how you grew up in your house like your relationship with your mother and father and like it's like it mirrors that you understand and it's like you i don't feel like you want that for your child or your children or you know I don't even know if you, it could be a possibility that y'all may have even aborted a birth or something like that because you did not want to raise a child alone or yeah, like you did not want to raise, you, you did because it mirror is mirrors like the toxic ass relationships that you've seen growing up. Like you did not want a family like that. It mirrors that shit. And that's not love. That's not love. This ain't love. It's not love. And it's like. I, now I'm understanding it. It's like I get the lesson. Like I don't want to go through this no more. I don't want to keep repeating this shit. It's like that's why I'm going on by myself. Like I, I can do this shit by myself. Like I just need a fucking time out from the shit. And it's it's like almost I don't know. If it's like I don't. It's like I don't want love anymore. I don't want to say it like that, but it's something about this Prince of Cups in the reverse. It's like, I'm not even open to any offers at this time. Like, I'm not even accepting any op applications. It's like, I kind of just want to be to myself and just, like, love myself for this moment. Because, like, that was just some wild ass shit that I just came out of. And, and again, like, I don't know what this casket means per se, but now that this is coming out, it could be someone might have aborted, um, and it could have been secretly aborted, um, or had a miscarriage or something like that. But it was like protection because you, like, mm -mm, that shit. It reminds you of something. I'm not doing that. I'm not bringing, mm mm. Fuck, absolutely no. Let's get some last cards and we're going to wrap this up for you, Taurus. Alright. So I don't want to make this too, too long for you, baby. Child, I'm tempted to go over here in these goddamn shadow cards to figure. <laughs> Girl, you got the casket again and then you got the extra joker. Child, so listen. Yeah. So either a relationship was. Um, ended or a partnership was ended uh, or I want to say that there could have definitely been an abortion or something like that I definitely feel like that because it's like you had to do what you had to do but this like extra joker card is like you're not no fool it's like you're not stupid it's like you got to trust yourself and it's like I'm not walking in nobody else's footsteps I'm choosing my own um, I know when I've been backstabbed. I know when I've been betrayed. I know when someone is doing things that is set out to hurt me. I don't give a fuck if they're doing it intentional or not intentional. Motherfuckers know right from wrong. And I know how to avert myself from evil, bitch. Because if you, like, I'm not no fucking fool. 
<laughs> you understand? But that extra joker, I got extra faith, extra belief in myself. I know and I trust and I believe when the Lord see, sends me signs and tells me to walk the fuck away and end something, I don't ask no questions. I get the fuck up on my feet and I get the moving, bitch. You hear me? I don't ask God no questions. When God tell me to walk the fuck away, I walk, honey. And I don't look back. God said, so you turn it turn to a pillar salt, some shit like that. It says something like that in the Bible. Listen, I don't ask no questions in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 This is someone that walked away from something that really hurt or could have really hurt. Especially if you would have stayed longer. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Especially. Let me let me tell you what. See, this is, with that extra joke right there, it's like you, it's like someone walked out on faith. It's like, I just, I couldn't take it no more. It was some itching in my bones and my spirit said, mm-mm, time out. How many, how many coffin or death cards or whatever that just occur? You got separation, the coffin, the five of fucking spades, the casket, come on. You got the ten of torches, like come the the, the like solitude, <laughs> like come on, family in reverse, like come on. All right, so listen, let me wrap this one up for you, baby, baby. Okay, listen, the five of goddamn spades, and the five of spades ain't a good card, baby. It says traditionally a card of anger and loss. From an older symbolic meaning, it can mean holding, a hand holding the knife, meaning someone standing, stabbing someone in the back. The five of spades could denote cutting someone or cutting someone out of one's life. It could also denote a surgical procedure, a divorce, quitting, leaving, going at it alone, lost fear of abandonment, loneliness, depression, separation accompanied by pain, grief, sorrow, and tears. The left hand, the left handed, the left path. Again, divorce, separation, time out, okay? Solitude, separation, all right? From what? From what? Anger, loss, someone being stabbed in the back. Mm -mm. I don't want, I don't want. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's a good possibility that someone took their child and went on and just took that blessing. And went on with their life. And they never going to turn back. Listen. to I, I carry the burden of raising my child. And doing my thing on my own. I don't care if this is a business. Or whatever it is you're doing. Like I'm cutting the fuck someone out of this shit. That motherfucker got to go on time off. I need some time to myself. I need some space. You got to go Slimmy. On everything. Time for you to go. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Listen. In holes we don't trust. Okay. I am reloaded. Okay. Look, ashes and ashes, dust to dust. In holes we don't trust. Bitch. I'm in it. Okay. I'm the fucking. Anyway, I'm gone, man. Listen. Y'all tell these hoes to tighten up, man. Taurus, they will not ignore us. We will motherfucker walk away on that ass. We listen. And please understand, we is protected. Listen, we will bury your ass. Listen, we listen. We don't got, we don't have it to do. Taurus said, what? I will walk all the way on into glory. These hoes don't know our story, Taurus. Listen, y'all said we ain't putting hoes in the casket and motherfucking 2021, bitch. Oh, the party has just begun. Oh, I will, I will shine on a bitch by myself. Listen, okay? We are reloaded. I got to go, y'all. Listen. <laughs> Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Stand on these hoes, the neck. Taurus, we gone, baby. Peace.